What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, we maintain, we uh, put the Cherokee territory under siege and they are selling out to attack us. And this is also due to the, this is also part of the backdrop of the Swedes, the scoundrels declaring war on us. So we need to win this battle fairly quickly so this army can be front against the Swedish push. But if you remember from the last part, uh, they're not recruiting very good troops. Uh, their first attack against me was knocked back handily by the garrison, but they, they'll, <clears throat> they'll probably catch some of my uh, weaker... I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> right, okay, so let's... Let's go on this little rise here. Put my royalist infantry down. How does this position look? It's pretty naff, so they may actually want to slightly stand back like that. So then these guys can get a good line on. Good. Get some line and some French, some of my Coolie units. So which ones are these chaps again? First life at Compagnie Franche de la Marine. Let's have a look at them. They look pretty good. They can deploy stakes and, to and go into square formation as light, in light infantry. That's pretty cool. So then we select the remainers. The remainder. I'm with the quick climb again my cavalry on the flanks because I'm going to want to chase them down. Good. Yeah, going to fire a round shot if they're not going to get involved. But they're all going to fire at this gun team. Couple of kills, knocked out a gun team. It's not too shabby. Forty fourth Regiment of Artillery, twenty ninth, thirty eighth. Next volley coming in, and they're surrounded by troops. Even a miss will do the good. Will do the good jobs. Knocked out on their trailing teams. Let's make these chaps get under firing quick line as we are able to now fire them. As we're in range, their artillery is routing, but they shattered. They are shattered, so now we will change our targets. Hidden unit. Chief's bodyguard mostly going to walk within range. We're going to get hit by quick climb. It's a terrible position for my tribal gunners. So that's not my tribal gunners, my light infantry. So let's do this. Use them to hit the bows. So I do not want to waste my my infantry's time hitting bowmen. Cast shot. Get ready to hit those hit that warrior society.
checking my howitzers firing. That was a valid target. Get them to charge straight on into the tribal gunners, because they will make the route. If that fails, they'll go... Well, when that fails, they'll then go straight on to the muskmen. The muskmen will probably kill their own troops. Get the colonial light horse on the go. Yeah, they will. They're going to make their own guys route. And these, my guys should hold up to the, the attack fairly well. Okay, now you go hit that unit of muskmen. You go hit that unit of tribesmen. Okay, they're being they're running out of puff. So let's get them out of here. Let's send them after an easier target and let's send these guys to chase after these guys. Go straight in. Don't bother trying to shoot because now they've got hidden. This car have already chased down the bowmen. To be honest, get my general over here. Charge straight in. Charge straight in. General went smack straight into. I have to actually start fighting the melee battle. Let's get a bit smarter. Let's pull them out of there. We are get to get the Royal Scots back here to engage that musket man. Chase him down. Let's probably change the target of my howitzers to be that unit of bowmen. Hunt them down wherever they lay. And optimize the deployment of my cavalry. Because you should. If you can knock them out, you can get rid of chase down that unit of bowmen. Bowmen are more frustrating to me than musketmen. So that's him gone. Team gone, now you go after them. These muskets are just yeah, they're annoying, but they're not in the world. Medicine men. Yeah, it's fair enough you routing. There was only 35 of you when I sent you into that combat. Though now you're looking pretty Pretty darn isolated. Uh, 
you got caught. That's fair enough. Just bring you over here actually to engage these medicine men because they're more dangerous. you guys back to the gun line chased on his medicine man I suppose they've gone routed sooner. Let's get, yeah, let's get you guys to finish them off. Let's re keep retargeting the howitzers to make sure they're fighting against the valid, they're shooting against the valid targets. guys back. My general can finish them off. There's only one medicine man remaining. Got him. Go after the musket men. Let's take my line over here. Start advancing in this direction. Not enough. <laughs> But is that everyone? Definitely want to continue, so you come over here. My other cavalry unit is committed. So if I can get them past my infantry. Smash them into this tribe unit. And then let's halt all artillery fire. So what have they got? Bowmen. Those guys have to be better. They're bowmen, but they've got a but they're more unique. It's definitely worth doing. Think they've got them. So let's just send them like that. Well, to be honest, just send them both after the same target. That would probably be the quickest thing to do. Yeah, because they are the last things remaining on the map. So, chomp. 23, 20. No, not move. Come on. 10. Five, five, four, three, one. <laughs> Got him. Yeesh. Ranks. It is your attitude and suspicion that you are maturing. The boldest design is against him and impose upon your enemy. Yes. It's not a great ratio, but they've only got 600 men remaining, so that's not too terrible. Comes the Georgians, who are they going to interfere with? And Dagestan. All those rebels. There is a port in this region. Proved coppering. Perfect. So here is the unit I have to be careful of. To be honest, I might just send send you straight after them. Then let's take Let's take this region to the Ars, because it's now just an auto-resolve. Then let's destroy it. Plenish it, and let's do some good upgrades, because we are benevolent uh, colonial masters. We will try to make your lives better. 
good, good, good. And then let's fix you. Perfect. So yeah, they're going to chase after the Swedes. They're probably going to take a region, but I'm not going to spend money trying to stop them. Could maybe send... I don't know how well they would do against all of those guys. Probably not so well. But it's, tem it's tempting to send them on a gut shot to take Niagara. But to be honest, I can afford to wait. So let's hop over to Europe. So I've been fighting against the Russians. I'm probably going to... Ooh, actually, no, I'm not. Well, I could probably win, but... But I'd rather I'd rather uh, get some troops back. So I'm at war with Sweden. As per as is tradition, seemingly in these campaigns. So what I'm going to do? Let's get these guys. Embark them. It is going to leave some units in a bit of a loose end. Let's have a look at Norway. Maybe not. Maybe not just land half a stack here. Instead, maybe land them here. And make sure my navy is interfering with the straits so they can't cross over and stop me. Hanover is converting. Not going to spend any more here, just in case they decide to come out and raid. So when I recapture this territory, I'll do a bit of a spending spree in this area. Ordnance board. Yep. Ah, what the hell, have happiness building. So the Netherlands. Syria, so I've got upgrades in Syria. Keep on upgrading, may as well. Oh, and a farmer's cottage, cool. Here on territory, Pennsylvania's being upgraded. I'll upgrade some of these cloth mills when I come back around after I've. Oh yeah, you're on. You're on a. You're on a run. All the way down from York Factory. So you keep on running. Yeah, you're probably safe enough to upgrade. Same with you. Let's hop over to up here, though. So it's a shame you guys don't have enough troops. I don't have any full troops, in which case I'll probably... <laughs> yeah, so these guns are going to go try and catch up with this army. So you're probably going to there. And you're... Well, only one of you can go there now. You're going to them. You're going to go to them too. So there's two new full stack armies. There's a Swedish navy. So I'm just going to ignore them. What do we get... Ooh. Send Benoit Garant to go just auto this Russian fleet because they've got they've got a first rate, a second rate, first and two seconds and load of junk. Wow. <laughs> I suppose that's what I get for auto resolving. That'll teach me. So let's get you back into port. And let's get you... Oh, that's, oh, that's still Swedish. <laughs> Jumping the gun somewhat. Yeah, that's just not even a fight. But Copenhagen is ours. So then we're going to start a push to knock out the Swedes. Destroy university. Upgrade the shipyard. No, that's a bit 
surplus to requirements. You've already got a naval hospital. Good. So I want to land some stacks here to do some fights against the Swedes. Push them up and knock out the Swedes up here in Finland and then start pushing. So I'll push these guys west. I'll push these guys east to take this Swedish territory. Unfortunately I don't have enough I don't have any more troops, but I, I can't recruit anything interesting here unless I knock it down and start again, which I'm not gonna do. So if anything I'm probably more likely to recruit two interesting units. Or recruit two line infantry guards, for example. And then sail them up there. I'm much more likely to do that. And I am going to do that. Cool. So diplomacy. See, I'm very friendly with the Ottomans. Do you want to trade? <laughs> but we're friendly. How can you be flogged for such a proposal? We're friends. Come on now. It's just the Spanish I'm a bit worried about. It's a cool unit, Spanish Conquistadors. Which is pretty neat. Oh wait. Oh, it's because the, the sweet okay, I've got to knock out when I take Algonquin territory, then I suddenly get all the all of the uh, Louisiana territory back. So Falmouth, Fort Nashwack, and Newfoundland, they all come back to me. Cause they're they're not even doing anything up there. That's super frustrating. 49 turns till your port gets into position. You don't have exempt you from tax, it only shrinks away three turns, really? That's stupid. Alright, let's hit end turn. Rakes galore. <laughs> Gonna land one of those stacks up there to help fight the Swedes. Let's descend another one around the Russians in the rear. Or do I just hit Crimea? Ooh, go on, Austria. Sort them out. Seems to be slightly cautious as they're not building a stack next to Paris to send against me. I'd like to think they weren't, but you never know. This is why I want to have armies still in the Americas, so if they do try to to turn against me I can really start driving back some of their possessions in the Americas to make them pay yeah the Russians aren't going to let me have it for free they're digging in I might send one of them around to Crimea so one to the Crimea and one to the Caucasus could get into a weird position where I've taken the entire French, uh, Russian rear area. <laughs> you know, I've completely flanked and I've gone, right, I'm invading Russia but not smashing through the east. I'm landing near the Urals and I'm doing a pincer movement. So they do have some considerable forces, but not enough to worry about, I don't think. I've got a good enough army to do an assault. Back you go. <laughs> okay, so the Swedes are going to fight. Are they going to? Where are they going to go? <laughs> They're running back home. Fair enough. But we will make you pay for this, Sweden. You just see if we don't. You're running a blockade, a rubbish port like Marseille again. Yep, fair enough. That's why we garrison it. Then watch all the Swedish gentlemen just pour out of the university. Persia? Persians raiding in the English Channel. You have to admire their gumption. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time. So will this fleet, no that's a damaged fleet, that's not any good. It's not even a very good fleet. I 
Admiral's flagship. Oh, let's get L'Oreal. That's what we're going to do. Two heavies. So that's four firsts. There you go, get some thirds. Let's upgrade some of my farms inside Paris. So I want to send. There you go, let's upgrade some of these buildings now they've left me a bit of time to breathe. Let's send this army down here, which means I can now upgrade you. We're on the way, Sweden. The jaws are closing. Okay, so... You're going to go down to Marseille. No, it was Nice that they were blockading. And then you are going to... Go up to Lübeck. And then I will ship you across the Baltic and land you... I might just tell you, if I can, sell you straight across, land you here, then go hit Petrovskaya, but I don't think that you're gonna I don't think the AI is gonna let me, because they're starting to swarm me with armies. So maybe the best option isn't to send you there, it's to send you into Rotterdam. Oh, I can't build it. So if I cancel your palatial estate. I can build a sloop to deploy that army up around this rear area as well, just to help support them. So let's send... well, let's position these guys together, because right now they're fortified. These guys are coming, but they don't, don't think that'd be a real problem. Let's give them two militia for now. Workers on strike in France, as you can imagine. They are very, very grumpy. Although, to be honest, I'd, I'd like to think it won't be long, because eventually I'll just start to research everything. Citizenship, minus two unhappiness. Ooh. Lots of these make people very unhappy. So I end up having to destroy one of these steam power cloth mills to build another happiness building to offset them. So Paris is going to start earning me a bit less cash. So you're poor, poor, poor. Just want to make sure there aren't any that are very poor. Cool. Let's knock you down. Let's start to build you a happiness building because I do not want to. I do not want to make a make this a. Republic of France run, because that's what I want to do in Napoleon. Because my happiness buildings. Yeah, your upgrades are going on fine. To be honest, I've got no money, so it's kind of a much of a muchness at this point. Okay, let's hit end turn. Nope, don't need you there. Don't need you there either. I need to start consolidating some of these uh, troop fragments. Oh, I thought you were going to try it. I thought that was the us. That was going to be the AI. The AI were going to make that move. Let's see, so where are they going to take that stack of? So you got a stack of troops in Cuba. They demand no. If you want to make this a thing, Spain. I'm going to go for you. Stealing my research again. But this turn I'll have an absolute bucket load of research will be made available. Because a few quite key techs were on one turn to go last turn, if I remember rightly. Let's go rush on the go. It's unfortunate for the Austrians to retreat further into Russian territory. Mm. Their army's moving up. I 
Oh, Sweden. Why do you have to be so frustrating? If you suddenly realise you need your navy in the Baltic. <laughs> yeah, just absolutely pouring out of Swedish troops. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. There we go. So I can send a fraction of my army out to engage the Swiss. Then let's bring them back. So you're not being... you're fixed. You're fixed. You're not a complete army, but... To be honest, I don't know if it'd be needed. Just maintain siege for now. So what's been built? So your population's going up quite nicely, so I want to keep it that way. But I also want to be ready for the war in India when it arises. and then let's go up and start bouncing around and doing economic upgrades. <laughs> nice little army actually here being recruited. Maybe I'll move them out. Um, no, let's get some howitzers. Howitzers are way too important now in the end game. Yeah, it's got platoon firing has been researched, as has shrapnel shot. Not so bothered about getting rockets. Let's hop back to Paris and get the Army Staff College. So let's take this army out. Let's upgrade Copenhagen. Take this army and then really there you go move them out send these guns to chase after them get this army to embark don't want to get you super dangerous because you're just a nothing fleet at the minute Go have a peek at Stockholm. Okay, so they've got a navy, so I definitely do not want to engage them there. It's an army outside. To be honest, I think I probably want to land them, land them near here to keep my armies together, keep them concentrated, and then let's run them back into a port. Ha! Church school. Let's start spreading Catholicism through the swines. Let's send you this way to try and assassinate that general. troops. Okay, so let's take let's take all these these fractions of armies so they have a place to go. And let's also build my happiness building. Another coaching in. John Law, military writer. John Doctorate. So track, I don't really want to bother with that. Building my Army Staff College. I don't really care about explosive rockets, so you may as well get preserved foods. Oh, what do we just get? Because hmm. I've not got. Oh, I don't know if I want to. Hmm. 
It's looks to make these are really unhappy. <laughs> so I'm going to need even more troops in here ready to to keep down any to keep down any uprisings. Oh yes, you've gone down here. That means you're another army fragment to go there. Embark. So then let's ship them. See, they can get all the way here. And let's disembark the army. And the army is going to besiege the capital. Let's get draw in some of these some of these little odds and sods, but that's not going to matter. But looking at the timer, I think it's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time when we get another foothold of Russian territory. Righto, see you guys. <laughs>